seed to seed technology of sustainable sugarcane initiative sustainable sugarcane initiative involves use of less seeds less water less energy and optimum utilization of fertilizers and land to achieve more yields it is an alternative method to the conventional seed water and space intensive sugarcane cultivation selection of single budded chips select healthy canes of 7 to 9 months old and remove buds from the selected canes using sugarcane bud chipper bud treatment Buds are treated with 1 kg urea, 50 g carbon dioxide, and 200 ml of malathion, which is dissolved in 100 liters of water. Then the buds are soaked for 15 minutes and shade dry. To induce germination, the treated buds are placed in a gunny bag for three to four days. Nursery for raising the nursery. Take well decomposed cocoa pith. Fill half of each cone in the tray with cocoa pith. Place the buds flat or in a slightly slanting position in the cones of a tray. Cover the bud chips in trays completely with cocoa pith. After filling all the trays, place them one above the other and finally keep an empty tray upside down at the top. Then the trays are wrapped tightly with polythene sheets. to create high temperature and humidity transplanting transplant young seedlings of 25 to 35 days old in the main field plant to plant spacing of 2 feet has to be maintained for easy sunlight penetration profuse tillering and mechanical harvesting after establishment of 2 to 3 tillers the mother shoot may be removed to facilitate more number of tillers and uniform maturity main field preparation tillage operations can be carried out using harrows or rotavator during the last plow apply well decomposed organic manure at the rate of 8 to 10 tons per acre Make furrows with a distance of five feet in between. Cultural practices: hand weeding and mechanical weedings can be done at first, second, and third month for long-term benefits. Trash mulching is important in sugarcane cultivation as it checks weed and provides needed moisture. Fertilizers should be applied at 112. 25 48 kg of npk per acre in addition application of biofertilizers like azospirillum and phosphobacteria would enhance crop growth give irrigation once in 7 to 10 days drip system can be practiced due to wider spacing and single seedling which saves 40 to 50% of water special operations Earthing up has to be done at 45th and 90th days after planting to provide sufficient anchorage and better aeration. Detrashing should be done by leaving top 8 to 10 leaves during 5th and 7th month for effective photosynthesis and applied as a biomulch in the interspaces. Cropping has to be done at the 7th month to avoid lodging of canes. Intercropping Intercrops like chickpea, cowpea, and green gram can be tried as there is wide spacing between the rows. Intercrops control weeds up to 60% and provide extra income to the farmers. They also act as live mulch and preserve moisture. Harvesting Sucrose content in the plants will reach the desirable eleventh on the tenth month of the one-year crop duration. and they'll be ready for harvest within the next 2 months this method gives 25 to 50% higher yield than conventional method when my father was a traditional farmer he practiced flood irrigation 
and sold only two to three I budded sugarcane sets. The field looked full and green, but the yield was low, and millable canes were less in number. This didn't help us earn enough about new and effective methods of farming. This is called SSI or Sustainable Sugarcane Initiative. Through this method, our produce will increase and water will also be saved. Soil too will remain fertile. Hearing this, my father, by adopting SSI, made four changes to his conventional farming. Number one, today we use drip irrigation. It helps us save water and keep the root zone of the soil moist. Number two. Seedling plantation is practiced. Rather than using two to three I budded sets for sowing, we buy 20-25 days old seedlings made out of single I budded chips from nursery and plant them in the field with moist soil. Number three, a spacing of five by two or six by two feet is always maintained while sowing the seedlings. And number four is. practicing intercropping this means growing short duration crops like groundnuts green chilies or legumes etc in between the rows of sugarcane